Welcome as everyone gets set up. We're going to start today in a chair if you'd like, or you have the option of seated on your mat, maybe placing a bolster or a pillow underneath your seat. But as we enter and we start to get comfortable, maybe silencing your cell phone or closing the door, maybe blocking any interruptions for the next 30 minutes as you prepare your time and your setup here. Maybe have a bottle of water handy. And we'll go ahead and find that tall, comfortable seat. I'm gonna begin in a chair today, but again, you can use the mat, that cushion underneath your seat, and start to settle in, grounding down into your seat. Allow your sit bones to nestle into the chair or to root down into that mat. As you settle in, as you Start to slow the breath down. As you lengthen the spine, maybe draw your shoulders away from your ears. Drawing the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Find a comfortable resting position for your hands, maybe on your lap or on your knees or your thighs. Feel free to take a soft gaze or gently close the eyes. And start to notice your breath. Let's all take a deep, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, let all breath go through your mouth. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale, let all breath go. One more time, perhaps taking your deepest breath of the day so far. Inhale through the nose. And exhale with a sigh. Let all that stale air escape. As you draw your attention inward, as you start to notice each inhale, and notice each exhale. Again, acknowledging the breath, quality of the breath, the texture, the depth of each breath. Continuing to focus inward, continuing to breathe at your pace. There's no rush. On your next inhale, slowly send your gaze towards the ceiling, eyes, nose, chin upwards, feel the stretch in the front of your neck. And then slowly exhale, drifting chin towards your sternum, feeling the extension there, the flexion of your cervical spine. Slowly move as you inhale, gazing upward, and exhale, gazing downward. Let's move with your breath at your pace. One more each direction. And then coming back to that midline allowing your head to stack. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly tilt the right ear towards your right shoulder, feeling the lengthening of the left side of the neck here. Keeping left shoulder drawing downward, left elbow drawing downward. Inhale back through center, and then exhale, shifting to the opposite side, drawing your left ear towards your left shoulder, 
Keeping the right elbow, right shoulder grounded. Staying here as long as you like. When you're ready, inhale back through center. And then exhaling, right ear towards the right shoulder. Back through center and then exhale, left ear towards your left shoulder. Let's return back towards your midline when you're ready. Coming back to your center line, that midline, as if you were drawing a line from the center of your forehead, down your core, keep that tall spine, and slowly start to rotate the shoulders towards the back. As you inhale, shoulders up, back, and down. Maybe getting the elbows involved here too. Do two more shoulders towards the back. And then come back. Switch directions, start to roll the shoulders up, forward and down. Moving with the breath here. And then coming to stillness, finding that resting spot. Go ahead and allow your arms to open out to the sides. Take a rotation of the wrists in one direction and then the other. And then steady the wrists. On an inhale, float the arms overhead, palms to touch. And then when you reach the top, Float the hands back down as you exhale. Inhaling, drawing energy back up. Exhale, float the palms back towards the earth. Let's do that one more time. Inhaling up. Exhaling as you lower. Inhale your arms up. And then as you exhale, float opening to your right, coming to a seated, Spinal twist. Taking a peek over your right shoulder here. Each inhale to lengthen your spine. Allow each exhale to allow a gentle twist. As you inhale, float back through center, arms overhead. And then exhale to the opposite side. Take a peek over your left shoulder. As you inhale to lengthen, exhale to softly twist. On your next inhale, float back through center. And then exhale, opening up to the right one more time. Maybe noticing if you're able to do a little bit deeper of a rotation this time around. Inhale back through center and exhale, open up to your left. One breath here. And then come back to center. Arms overhead, palms greet, and slowly draw your hands to heart center. Acknowledge this moment in your practice. Maybe noticing any change in the pace of your breath. Noting any warmth or any sensations coming up in your body. And then release arms drawing out to the side again. Let's take, raise your left arm overhead and slowly send the right fingertips towards the earth, maybe crawling out, opening to the side. Keeping your left sit bone towards the earth, towards the seat. Inhale, floating through center and then exhale, opening floating to the opposite side, drawing your left fingertips out and downward, and right arm overhead. Feel that side body stretch. Inhale, float back through center, and let's 
Stretch to either side one more time. We'll all inhale back to center. Exhale your arms down. And then slowly walk your palms forward, whether that's on the mat or down towards your shins if you're in the chair. Send your head away from your hips. Lengthening the spine here, keeping your seat grounded, drawing your navel towards your spine. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Slowly walk your palms back up towards your hips. Feel free to stay in that seat in the chair, or if you'd like, go ahead and uncross the legs. Plant the soles of your feet about hips width distance and ground down in the feet and we'll slowly roll up to stand. Have your feet planted about hips width distance. Maybe pedaling out your feet here, rising up on the toes. Separate your feet. So hips are stacked over knees, knees are stacked over ankles, and create a soft bend in the knees, allowing some softness as you tuck your tailbone downward towards the earth. Draw the crown of your head towards the ceiling and shoulders away from your ears. Let's inhale your arms overhead, allowing your palms to greet. Exhale, hands to heart center, releasing your arms out to the open, thumbs pointing to either side, coming into that mountain pose, Tadasana. Again, shoulders drawing away from ears, grounding your tailbone towards the earth. On an inhale, float the arms overhead once more. And then bend the elbows, bend the knees, slowly take a forward fold, drawing the fingertips towards the shins or maybe fingertips to the top of feet. As you inhale, take a halfway lift, flat back, sending your gaze towards the front edge of the mat or about two feet in front of you. Exhale, forward fold with soft knees. Inhale to a halfway lift one more time, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. On your next inhale, slowly roll up to stand one vertebra at a time, keeping the knees bent. Shoulders, neck, head, arrive last. Keeping the soft bend in the knees, checking in with the placement of the feet. Allow your feet to be about hips width distance. Extending your fingertips towards the earth. Let's inhale the arms overhead. Allow the palms to greet. Interlace your fingers here and release the index fingers, creating a steeple. And then as you inhale, grow tall. Exhale, slowly lean to your right. Each inhale growing taller, each exhale allowing you to lean a little further. Allowing right hip to send towards the left, keeping shoulders square, keeping hips square. And the next inhale slowly come back to a tall spine. And then exhale lean over towards the left. Allowing Inhale to lengthen and exhale to allow you to bend a little further. One more breath in. Exhale, deepest lean. And then come back on your inhale, back through center. Release the palms, slowly float the hands down, maybe rotating the wrists along the way. Take a shoulder roll towards the back. Loosen, allowing stretch of the upper back or the shoulder blades. Maybe take a shake out of the legs, raising each foot, and then come back to that 
Mountain pose, grounding back down the soles of both feet. Opening up your arms wide, fingertips drawing downward, thumbs open to the sides. Inhaling once again, hands overhead. Exhale, allowing your palms to greet at heart center. Ground down in the sole of the right foot. On an inhale, slowly float your left foot up, coming knee to a 90 degree angle, coming into a balancing posture, knowing that you can have toe on the ground or all the way if you desire. On an exhale, slowly lower your left foot. Let's inhale again, coming up either up to the toes or knee 90 degree angle. Place your left palm on your left hip crease. Feel free to allow your foot to greet your inner shin, coming into a tree pose. And then draw your left knee towards the left side. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Slowly inhale, draw your knee back to center. And maybe that's on the balls of the foot or knee in a 90 degree angle. Exhale, release left foot, release the arms, give yourself a nice shake out here. Releasing that first side, ground down the soles of both feet. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale your palms to heart center. Ground down in the sole of the left foot. On an inhale, come up onto the ball of the right or drawing, raising the right foot up, knee to a 90 degree angle. Inhale as you find your balance, maybe finding that focal point, stationary object on the wall. And then exhale, slowly float the foot back down. Inhale once again, raising right foot up, flexing the ankle, keeping that foot active, maybe allowing sole of the foot to find the inner shin, or just keeping the foot balanced. Allow your right palm to greet your right hip crease as you exhale, opening up right knee to the side. Finding that dristy, taking a breath here. On your next inhale, slowly float the knee back to center and then allow foot to return to the floor. Hands release, give yourself a nice shake out there. Come back to your mountain pose. Steady your feet into the mat. Take that gentle softening of the knees. Round the shoulders away from your ears, opening your palms to the side, thumbs drawing to the right and the left. Let's inhale your arms overhead, palms greet. And exhale, opening your palms wide to a V. Again, grounding tailbone towards the mat. If your neck allows, take a soft gaze, gazing skyward, take a gentle back bend here. Tailbone tucking downward, belly drawing towards spine. And giving thanks here for all the people, the places, the things in your life that you cherish, that bring us joy. On an inhale, float back to a neutral spine. Allow your palms to read overhead and exhale your hands to heart center. Bow your chin towards your fingertips. Steady your breath here. In your next exhale, go ahead and shake out, release the hands. And pedal out the feet here, raising 
one foot at a time. And then coming back to your mountain pose, let's inhale, arms overhead. Exhale with a forward fold, bending the knees, cutting that line through the center as fingertips draw towards your shins or maybe the tops of feet. Allowing crown of the head to draw towards the mat, allowing your hips to press behind you. Let's inhale for a halfway lift, flat back, drawing navel towards your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale again, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, generous bend of the knees as you slowly roll to stand. Gently peel one foot off the floor at a time. And then we're gonna to return to that seated position, whether it's on your mat. Go ahead and take your time to return to your tall seat. That can be on the mat, that can be on your chair. I'm gonna be taking a chair today, but feel free to lower. And that could be feet out in front of you, planted railroad tracks for your feet. You can roll all the way down if you desire. Otherwise, again, that seat in the chair. You're gonna extend your right foot out in front of you. Draw your left knee in. Give yourself a nice generous hug. Maybe rotate the left ankle one direction and then the other. And then release, extend left foot out and draw your right knee in. Give it a good hug. Maybe rotate the right ankle one direction and then the other and then lower the right foot down stepping both feet on the floor let's raise the left foot cross the left ankle over your knee and then gently hinge forward at the hips keeping that straight or extended leg bent protecting the hamstring feeling that stretch in the low back as well as the legs feeling that hip opener, that glute stretch. Drawing head away from hips. Two breaths here. After your second exhale, slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. Uncross your leg, give both legs a nice shake out here. Firmly plant the feet and then go ahead and cross right ankle over the top of the left knee. Take that tall seat, sending the crown of the head towards the ceiling first. As you exhale, slowly hinging forward at the hips, keep that extended leg, knee gently bent, protecting hamstring and low back. As you gently hinge forward, sending head away from hips. Feeling the opening of the hip crease of the glute. Take two breaths here. After your second exhale, slowly walk back up, rolling up one vertebra at a time. And then uncross the legs. Go ahead and give both feet, both ankles a nice shake out here. Coming back to that tall seat. If you're in the chair, you're gonna take a seated spinal twist. If your seat is on the floor, you're gonna draw, extend out 
your right foot and then bend left knee. Place the sole of the left foot inside the inner thigh and then you're going to come into a one-legged seated forward fold and then inhale to that tall spine. Rotate your torso over towards your right toe and then keep that right knee bent as you gently lower as if your nose is drawing towards your toes. It's not going to meet, but imagine extending your fingertips towards the right ankle. Deep breath in and deep breath out. After that, exhale slowly coming back up to that tall seat and bend right knee in, extend your left leg long, sole of the right foot can greet the inner thigh, lengthen the spine and then rotate your torso towards your left toes and then slowly hinge forward, keeping gentle bend of the left knee as you Slowly draw nose towards your toes, fingertips landing outside of the thigh, outside of the calf, wherever it reaches. Deep breath in and deep breath out. After that, exhale slowly walking back up, one vertebra at a time. Give both legs a nice shake out here. Let's come back to that tall, comfortable seat. That could be a cross-legged seat. That could be one leg out, one leg in. Find that tall, comfortable seat and come back to your breath. If it's in your practice to lay down for a Shavasana pose, please feel free to take this opportunity to Maybe put your layer socks on as we may cool off. Coming to that comfortable rest, allow a comfortable resting position for the hands, knees, or thighs, or maybe arms open at a diagonal, backs of palms resting on the earth. Allowing yourself to receive the energy. Take a deep cleansing breath in and exhale, let all breath go. Take another deep, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, release all breath through the mouth. Check in. Noticing any sensations in your body. Checking in with your mind. Checking in with your breath. As we slow down once again, acknowledging and noticing your breath. Acknowledging and noticing any thoughts that might enter. Allowing yourself to stay right here rather than zoom forward to what's next in your day. Allow yourself to sink in and settle in. On an inhale, go ahead and curl the right toes. Exhale, release that grasp of the right toes. Inhale, go ahead and tighten up the left toes. And exhale, release. Inhale, make a fist with the right hand. And then exhale, release. Next inhale, make a fist with your left hand, tightening, and then exhale, release.
Tighten up the muscles in your face. Wrinkle up your forehead. Exhale, release that hold. Allow your seat to be received by the earth or the chair. Allow your shoulder blades to melt into the earth. Relax all your facial muscles. Release any hold on your jaw. Let your tongue grow slack. Settling in for your final rest, Shavasana. All the work is done. Allow yourself to slow down, settle in, and sink down. Surrender to your Shavasana. Enjoy these moments of stillness. Enjoy these moments of silence. If at any time you find your thoughts start to wander, just return to your breath. Relaxing in this stillness, in this silence, and being okay right here, right now, in this moment. Let's all take a deep, deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale, let all breath go through your mouth. Take another deep, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, release. Keeping that focus inward, maybe gently start to wiggle the toes. Start to wiggle your fingertips, creating any small movements here. On an inhale, slowly draw your arms overhead. Take a long morning stretch, maybe rotating hands from side to side. And then sending your arms back down towards your sides. Let's inhale, drawing your knees in towards your chest, maybe rocking your knees from side to side, releasing your lower back. Creating a deeper rocking motion from side to side. And go ahead and roll over to your left or to your right, coming into a fetal position. Take one breath here. After your exhale, use your palms to push away from the mat, coming back to that tall seat. 
legs crossed or legs in a comfortable position. Find a comfortable resting position for your hands on your thighs, on your knees. Lower your chin towards your sternum, acknowledging your practice, your breath today. And then propping your head back to center. Let's inhale your arms overhead. Exhale your palms to heart center. Acknowledging, bowing each other's honor. Acknowledging your practice. Drawing your hands, thumbs to your third eye. Bowing to each other, namaste. Thank you for joining today. Hopefully I'll see you next Monday, one o'clock. We're gonna be doing Monday afternoons for the month of June. And check in with Edie because she's got something every day of the week, whether it be Zumba, Pilates, or meditation. Everyone stay healthy, stay safe.